All right. There's a specific reason of why I decided to upgrade my phone to the S22. Yeah, the S22 um, versions, models, because I wanted to also test out low light shots. It looks decent so far. Surprisingly, it looked a little decent, okay? Anyways, with that aside, um, here's part two of um, why I'm kind of afraid of women. You know, I didn't get a chance to really um, um, get my thoughts out like that because, you know, my phone was dying. So um, here, here we go, you know, the concluding thoughts. The last part, continue basically where I left off. So now, basically, we've already, you know, know the deal when it comes to men um, approaching women in some sort of way. These women, they feel like, like, oh my gosh, like, like, oh, uh, he's not attractive. So why you are, are you coming to me? Why in the world are you approaching me? You're not attractive. So, um, and then that's kind of running men, you know, like running men into, um, you know, being really insecure about themselves. You know, kind of in, becoming insecure about themselves. Now, what does that have to do with me? I mean, I haven't approached a female in, uh, basically since high school. I haven't. Have I? I mean, like, you know, for like, like actual genuine interest and stuff. Like, that. I haven't approached a female for like, for, you know, for genuine interest and all that stuff, you know? Like, like I wanted to date her or whatever. I haven't done that, like, at all, you know. I'm looking to make sure, you know, the low lights look pretty decent. Yeah, I have not approached a female in a long time. So, in the same, in the, at the same time, it kind of doesn't make any sense. What I'm saying kind of does not make any sense. Solely because I haven't really approached women like that but because of everything I've seen on the internet specifically are uh, containing to the black pill you know it's a huge it's kind of a concern to me like so I don't want to be you know accused of you know you know of harassment and stuff like that you know I'll get away from me and stuff like that the rejection part isn't the problem, no. It's not the rejection itself. It is not the rejection itself. It's the, um, how's she gonna take it? She might think I'm ugly, and then she's gonna feel offended for me approaching her. She's gonna be feeling offended for me approaching her, which I'm not gonna sit there. I'm honestly, that part, I won't, I won't really take too all good enough. If you think I'm less of a human, just because I'm not attracted to you, um, uh, she's not attracted to me or whatever. I'm not attractive to her or whatever. That's gonna be a concern to me. And then females, they wondering why men haven't been approaching females recently. It's because of stuff like that. You think you, you think it us men are creepy or whatever. Just because we're not as attractive, we're not as attractive to um, to you, or we come off um, weird or whatever, or you, we gave you the ick. That's what I'm afraid of, honestly. That's what I'm really afraid of. Like. Like I said, I haven't approached a female like ever. The last female I approached was back in high school. Technically, if I'm being like completely honest, the the last female I approached that I had like genuine interest in was technically the girl I asked out. And like um, December 
15. And what was that girl name? What was that girl name? Um, I, I think her name started with an A. Like, the girl I was genuinely interested in. Like, and I actually approached. Yeah, technically the last female I approached for, you know, like, interest or whatever was back in high school. Like, my first semester of my sophomore year, technically. I mean, the only reason why I believe the last female I was interested in was the 2017 L Girl, spoiler alert. Watch Side Knot by episode one and two. There go her name, there go her name. It's in there. But the thing is, that girl, I didn't approach her because I was too poor. And speaking of poor, me being too poor, if I look, if I look way too basic, like if I, if one small thing, if I look off in one small way, like for example, my shoes, that's a big one. Literally my modern mother was complaining about my shoes. I was complaining about my shoes. You think females go, what females gonna look at? Obviously they gonna look at the shoes. Modern mom, mother, I already know that, okay? I already know that. My shoes isn't really the best, honestly. I do need new shoes, and I will buy new shoes. But as of right now, because I'm living in my modern parents' house, I'm not gonna sit there and dress all swaggy and swagger and, you know, super fly and everything. So, you know, I'm not trying to attract no female at all. And it's not about attracting female, right? Just being, um, you know, uh, being, you know, you know, just, you know, dressing up or whatever. Just looking presentable. Okay, fair point. But I'm just, it, I find no need to dress up. Like I, I made a whole entire video that. I find no need, no need to dress up solely because I had to uh, put it in my brakes. I had to trim my ride because it was getting too fast. I was going too fast. It's a little bump or whatever. So yeah, like I said, I don't need to dress up. Like specifically now, I don't need to dress up. Look, my hair is a mess right now. Look, my hair is a complete mess right now, okay? The only reason I'm not, I can't put this back on. The only reason why I'm not, you know, fully, you know, taking care of myself, like, you know, wash my face, um, comb my hair, and all that stuff, and you know, and getting better shoes and stuff like that, and you know, wear, you know, better, you know, cleaner clothes. I should not run this light. Okay, never mind. Because earlier today, I did run the run a light. I literally almost got hit. Yeah, I ran a light and almost got hit. They, they, it was a little embarrassing, but what would have, what would have been more embarrassing than me actually getting hit. So yeah, which I have actually gotten hit by a car before. So yeah, that, yeah. Um, there's no need for me to dress up because I'm literally on my way to work now. It's like, what time is it? It's 11.06 right now. I'm a whole, I'm a whole hour late right now. My shift starts at 10. The only reason why I'm late because I'm cutting overtime. Technically, no, I'm just oversleeping. I'm purposely choosing to sleep. But since my job want me to cut overtime, I'll use that as an excuse. And then I'm switching to uh, my other apartment. I'm about to become a supervisor again for a um, different department now. Air time. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much. I don't really know what else to say, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm on my way to. Uh, I work overnight. If I am working overnight, I find it there's no need to dress all super. There's no need to dress all super. You know, you don't even have to. You can just get up. I don't even have to shower as long as you ain't sleeping. It's more like I have to shower today. I was way too sleepy. So yeah, and because I'm working overnight, I technically can get away with it. I might be around a lot of people, but I don't think, okay? I at least, you know, wash up a little. Um, you know, I work overnight today. I work overnight shifts. There's no need. I can just come out, you know, get out of my bed and just head on to work. Just, you know, brush my teeth and everything. As long as my clothes are, 
at least at least decent and clean you know little to no stains and no smell and just put on deodorant there's no need and then there, there's literally no need to dress up you know dress super up and everything there's literally no need so I, I just think I got super sidetracked point is I don't need to dress up now I don't have to have nice old shoes and stuff like that super sweaters and whatever I don't need to do all that I don't really need to take care of myself right now so if I'm not gonna date right now I'm not gonna date right now if I'm I'm not gonna date right now there's literally no point to be dressing up to try and win a female's heart and then on top of it even if I was to dress up I hope that's not a cop Sammy you know I don't I'm, I'm not sure I don't got time to get pulled over so yeah um if I'm not gonna try if if I'm not gonna approach women I need to do the best thing I can to not even attract women honestly as if a female gonna find me attractive I don't remember the last time a female found, found me attractive the last time I think a female found me attractive it was probably 2019 no, 2020. I think it's 2020. Some Dollar Tree lady, she was fully. I think she was really into me or whatever. But she was. I have no idea how old she was. And then on top of that, she was fat. I wasn't really interested. I mean, she was. She had a pretty face, but she was, you know, just fat and everything. I wasn't interested. And every and all that stuff. And then on top of that, I was poor anyway. I was living in a hotel my 2019 hotel that's pretty much it I know I have to I got a little sidetracked a bit on a tangent or whatever you know I just wanted to make this part two of it because to get my proper closing thoughts I'm just saying like there's like once I move out then I'll consider depending what shifts I'm doing if I'm working a second or first shift I'm going to dress up, you know, depending on the job, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to... How you doing? Then I find there's no need. I mean, then I'll consider, you know, dressing myself up a little bit better. Ultimately, if I was to make myself a little bit look a bit more attractive, the best thing I could do is simply, if it's cold, don't wear a sweater. Just wear long sleeves. That's it. Long sleeve and whatever pants I wear. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. If I work out, you know, looks max, that, that would, you know, make me look better. Basically, it boils down to, you know, you know, the black pill, okay? I don't know how attractive I am. In face, specifically. I really don't know. Females. If y'all, if there are any females watching this, hold on, I'm about to be in light. Rate my face, 1 to 10. And be brutally honest. Be brutally honest. I want to know, okay? Because I, I don't know how attractive I am. Because very little women was attracted to me. Very little. I don't know why that cashier, Dollar Tree cashier lady liked me. Whatever. I don't know if it's me for me. Or I don't know. I don't know why she liked me. But Here goes some light right here. Oh my gosh. Pull this off the thing. Let's unlock that. I know my hair is a mess. But you know. Rape right my face. Without the glasses, I probably look better without the glasses. Rate my face from 1 to 10. Hey, what's up? And rate my... I, and I rate my face with glasses. Yep. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how attractive I am. So, also, I... You know, that's not another... That's another reason why I don't really approach women. I mean, I do need to take my chances, you know. You know, because I need to really approach women more often. I do agree. Um, but, you know, I'm not doing it right now since I'm living in my parents' house. Like, this coming June, I plan to move out, you know. I don't know what city I'm moving into, but I'm planning to move out. And when I move out, then I'll start approaching women more often. And, you know, stop being kind of afraid of women. Yeah. That's the only reason why I'm kind of afraid of women. Because I don't know how attractive I am. And I don't feel like being accused of sexual harassment. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.